Hey, Austin. Welcome to our What's new up, Austin? Beach Boot Camp live stream. Uh, we are coming at you uh, from the studio while you're in your house, in your office, hopefully with your friends, in your yard, wherever it may be. Uh, we have an awesome plan set for you guys uh, for the next foreseeable future. Uh, we are incredibly honored to have you continue on with us as we have pivoted essentially how we normally do things. But it is going to be our full intention for the next several weeks to give you the same kick-ass workouts, but just a little bit different. So don't think if it's weird if I tell you to go grab a can of beans or some rice or something in your house that we're, or toilet paper. We have a lot of creative workouts where you got a you got a crazy bunch of coaches uh, that can be uh, super entertaining with how we put things together. So just be prepared. So to that note, if you've already tuned in. I'll just give you a little insight before we get into the actual warm up. If you have anything in your house that weighs five to 10 pounds that you can easily grip, something that's round, a uh, bag of beans, bag of cans, laundry bread, detergent, laundry detergent. detergent for any of you kinky people. We know you got some stuff in your closet. <laughs> Go ahead, get it. No one can see you, you can only see us. So we're gonna be okay, all right? All right, guys, so real quick, before we get started, I want to introduce your coaches who are going to be here doing this uh, kick workout for you today. So I'm going to turn it over real quick. This is, yes, so you got to say your name. Yes, say your name. Hi, I'm Jenny. Danny. We got Danny. Floor. Miss Floor. Seth. Coach Seth in the back. Jason. Jason. Miss Leslie. G. And G. <laughs> All right. So, Joe, we good? We got, we got our crowd ready to rock and roll? All right, folks, so we're going to start off with just some basic warm-up stuff. We're going to begin, oh, real quick, before we begin, turn up your music. We don't have any music to play for you yet, uh, but I want you to get some tunes on in your own house, which definitely needs some beats, okay? So we're going to start off with our warm-up. These are going to be about 30 seconds. We're going to begin with some good old-fashioned shoulder circles, pretty nice and easy, pretty nice and easy. Yeah, make sure you got, this is kind of your, your practice, your social distancing. Make sure that you're not too close to anyone in this. Yeah. Now we're going to take it reverse right here. Get those shoulders warmed up and mobile. Good, good. All right, gang. Now let's take it to some back claps. Some back claps. Nice and wide. Nice and wide. Anybody have anything interesting happen to them this morning yet? My clients made some hand sanitizer for me. Oh, they made some organic hand sanitizer. Hell yeah. All right. I love, I love Austin for that. We got lots of, uh, we got lots of organic ways. Yeah, there you go. All right, guys. So we're going to take this now. Down to the ground, I call this the doggy butt itch. Yes, yes, yes. So we're gonna lift up. Now, technically it is kind of like a crab crawl, but we're gonna lift up. We're just gonna stay stationary and we're gonna take our butt back and forth on that mat so we can get our shoulder. Yeah, now you get it, now you get it. The, is this sanitary? This is definitely not as sanitary as it could be. This is new. Yes, we put all uh, Purell on our butts before we did this. So, guys, you're going to feel this through your shoulders. Get that extension. I feel very. All right, we're going to take this for 10 more seconds. All right, stand on that mat. Okay, gang. Now, enough doggy itch, we're gonna take it down flat onto the mat. Now what I want you to do, a little stretch for that lower back. We're gonna take our leg up and over. We're gonna to go to the left side, stretch out those glutes. Hopefully you guys are not sitting at home too much. You gotta stay mobile moving around. You're gonna to start to feel a lot of tightness in your joints, um, especially for those of you that are having to limit your movement. So stuff like this is super important to do every day. All right, let's switch over. To the left side, reach it up, reach it over. Make sure you got plenty of room. Again, this is, uh -uh. this is how we're practicing our distance between one another. You guys got plenty of room back there? Yep. yep. All right. Cool. Any dad jokes? Any dad jokes? Come on. Seth, any dad jokes? You're usually my go to. The wheels are turning. The wheels are turning. Okay, get back with us on that. All right, guys, let's take it one more side, one more time to the right side. Yep, a little stretch. For our regular campers at home, I know that we're probably already right into the full-fledged sweat fest, but just give us some patience. We got some new viewers jumping in with us that haven't done a full heat camp before. So we're gonna take it a little slower in the beginning, but don't worry, that intensity is on its way. All right, switch over one more time. Right across, there we go, heel to the ground. Oh, Greg, did I just hit you? 
Can you can you wipe my shoe off there, buddy? Yeah. Okay, you're good. All right, we got five more seconds here, and then we're gonna flip it over onto our mat. Three, two, one. Okay, gang, let's take it facing this direction. Um, we're gonna come up all the way. Just stand on up to the edge of your mat right here. Give ourselves a little body fold right down to the toes. Just hang, relax, breathe for me. <laughs> don't breathe too loud. It gets awkward. We don't have music here at the studio right now, so our, our, our groans and moans are gonna sound a little weird in the silence. Uh, oh yeah, all right guys. Keep those legs straight. I want you to walk it out for me. Plank position, walk it out all the way right here. We're gonna take that left foot up to the pinky. Ooh, stretch it. And then drop that back knee down. Drop that back knee down. You're gonna feel this all through your inner thigh right here. Now, let's take that left hand and we're gonna raise it up, straight up to the sky, reaching up to the ceiling. Nice little stretch to that lap. Good, getting a little bit of all of it. All right, taking that hand back down to the ground. Take your foot back behind you, right side up to the pinky. Now we're gonna take it also, right hand up, twist and rotate. I'm gonna put my back to you guys at home. Fingers up to the sky. Nice little, you'll see Danny has a, an additional alternation where he's bringing that hand down. Yeah, he's extra flexible. Extra flexible. That's what she said. Oh, Danny, Danny. All right, hands back up. Okay, let's guys put that on repeat one more time. Keep those feet back out. Left feet back up to the pinky, up high, good. Again, you can add a little more to the stretch by bringing that hand behind you, like a human pretzel right here. All right, good. Okay, two, one, and bring it up and down. Let's kick that foot back behind us. One more time on the right side. Good, drop that back knee. Let's rotate up. And hand down if you choose. Oh, now everybody's doing it. Everybody's got to keep up with Danny now. Uh huh. All right. Okay. Two, one. Bring it back up to the mat. Kick it back. Keep those legs straight. Now, gang, we're going to walk back, walk back nice and slow to where we began with that back fold. Hanging out right here. Hanging out right here. Good. Give me about five, four, three, two, one. And come on up nice and slow. All right, so that is the easy part. You guys ready to get to the fun stuff? Okay, so we're gonna take it up a little bit more into our, what I call the mini warm-up workout. So we're gonna start to coming off. Yeah, I planned that, I planned that. All right guys, we're gonna start off with high knees. So if you're at home, uh, you know I am horrible at counting. I do have a clock in front of me this time, so I'm gonna try to minimize this to just 30 seconds, but Cody counting is all over the place. But we're gonna begin with a little high knee action. So bringing those knees up to the hips, here we go. And begin. So we're going for 30 seconds. You want to make sure your knees are getting all the way up to your hip height. Stand on those toes. Good, good. Now I can see my crew in the back. Danny, get those knees up. Get those knees up. There you go, girl. Get them up. Get them up. I see that ponytail going back and forth. I don't see that ponytail all over the place. Yes. <laughs> we got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Now we're going to do some what I call butt kick. So it's heel to the booty. So right here. So I want you to imagine you're a raging bull and you're about to kick and this is what raging bulls do. They, they get ready to go. Okay. Get your heels up to your butt. If you can't touch your butt with your heels, your ass is not big enough. Uh-huh. Don't worry. We got a leg day to solve that problem coming up in a few days. <laughs> Seth, you're just fine back there, buddy. You're just fine. All right, we're going to take this for five, four. Come on, Greg. Don't stop. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, easy favorite right here. Jumping jacks. Straight in, straight out, straight in, straight out. Good. Right here. Straight in, straight out. There we go. There we go. Good. All right, guys. Are you oh, I know, right? All right. I don't know. How, I don't know how Britney Spears does this. I, don't know I cannot move and talk this much at one time. I mean, Danny, <laughs> you spin classes, or you do classes all the time and spin. Yeah. I mean, it's gotta be hard, it's right? Hard as hell. Yeah, your coaches are gonna struggle on this. So. But Jenny doesn't talk very much. So she <laughs> talk very much. <laughs> oh no! No talking yeah. from Jenny. All right, we got five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, crew. We're gonna take this now down into the burpee. 
I'm going to turn sideways on my mat so you guys can clearly see me. I'm going to plant my hands down here. I'm going to jump out, jump in, up high. If you want to throw in the push-up, please, by all means, do so. Okay, we're going to take this for 30 seconds. Here we go. In two, one, and go. Push-ups down. Good. Now, because I have to talk the most, I'm going to take this just to the modified burpee. So don't judge me, okay? Straight up, straight down. Good. Getting those feet off the mat. All the way up. All right, guys, you got it. I know it's full body tonight or today. We are doing all upper body, but I'm getting geared up for what's to come. All right, we got five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, shake it off a little bit. Oh, grab a little water if you need it. We're gonna do that round one more time. You guys okay with it? One more time. Come on, come on, one more time. Grab some water if you need it. We're gonna start back in 10 seconds with those high knees. Here we go. In three, two, one, high knees, go. Get it up. So coming over here to Jenny. What I'm looking for is to get her knees almost up to my hands, which is about hip height. There you go. Good, Danny. Looking good, Greg. Now, do I have anybody in the bunch that wants to show off a little bit, add a little modification? I don't know. You seem to have all the fun. Oh, okay, a little Russian kick action. Okay, I'm gonna move away from that. Let's move away. All right, we got five, four, three, two. Going right into those butt kicks. Let's go. Seth, where you at? I'm gonna move out of Seth's way so you all can see Seth. Seth, yeah, show us. Show us. Show us that booty. There you go, Seth. There you go. There you go. I'm surprised he hasn't dropped down. The seat. There it is. Yeah, that, I was waiting for that twerk to start. Oh, no, no, we can't off. We can't off. We got three, two, one. We're going to those jumping jacks right here. Straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. There you go. Take it slow. Now, some of you may want to cheat. Do this. I want to get those shoulders. Get it up. Get it up high. All right, we got 10 seconds left to go, and then we're going to finish out with your favorite, those burpees, in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. So, Danny, this is the one time I am envious of your height. It's a little easier to get down to the ground. <laughs> All right. Here we go, guys. We're going to kick it off in three, two, one. Let's go. Straight down. Push up. Take it at your own tempo. There you go. You're going to see all of us are going to be a little bit on our own pace, just like you guys at home. Everyone has different intensity levels. So super important, as we go through today's workout, modify to do what works for you, okay? And I'm going to try to give you guys examples of different things that you can do, obviously just using body weight. But if you got weights at home or anything that can add weight that you can hang on to, grab it. We got three, two, one, and rest. All right. Nice job. Okay, guys, so let's take a quick little minute break so we can get some water. Now, as I said, anything at home that you may have that you can add or you can hang on to, that's two, three, four, five, ten pounds, just grab it have it nearby. So, like I got my little sand belt here. Now, I know all of you probably stocked up on your bags of rice. Same thing, right? Okay. Um, cans of beans, whatever you got, water bottles. These may come in handy for some of those drills that we're going to put you through. And if you don't have a stick or anything at home, Jenny has brought her broom. You can take the, I see the broom. You can take the, you can take the end of those brooms off. Yes, this is how she got here. Jenny came in on her broom. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jenny. All right. So guys, here's what we're gonna do. This next section, we're gonna, we got, let's see, eight drills that I'm gonna take you through, 45 seconds each, and we're gonna go for three times. Now, unfortunately, this is one of those situations where in camp, we might get through it. And I'm like, oh, let's just shape it to two. But no, we're gonna do all three, okay? So to start off with, we're gonna go through all of these drills with you at home. We're not actually gonna do any kind of uh, demonstration before. So we're gonna take it slow through round number one, okay? 
So our first drill that we're gonna do, guys, come on down to your mat. We're gonna come in to what I call a double push-up with a press. Now I'm gonna put my water bottle right out here in front of me. I'm gonna move my back just a little bit as my target. So I'm gonna take this. Hands are close in so I can get a little bit of tricep work with this. You can do it on your knees or on your toes, you choose. So we're gonna do a double push-up. So down, up, down, up. And then I'm gonna reach out. Now when I reach out, you're gonna feel your core work. Keep those feet wide, okay? And we're gonna put that in motion so it looks like this. We're gonna go down, up, down, up, reach, put it on repeat. Here we go, we're gonna start in three, two, one, and go, right here. Put that push up, down, up, find your tempo. You can take it to the knees if you need. Just fully extend that arm out, okay? You guys got this, so I'm gonna step back here. So if you can see Coach Greg, keeping that core nice and tight, feet are wide. That, that width of those feet are gonna create that balance that you need. So when you're on that one hand, you're gonna really feel that core engaged. So right now, gang, you're working that chest, you're working your core, and you're working your shoulders. Okay, we've got about 10 seconds left to go. Oh, come on, we got three of these. And five, four, three, two, and rest. Okay, second drill. You're gonna like this one because we get to lay down. We're not taking a nap though, we're not taking a nap. So we're gonna come down right here. I'm gonna reach out, I'm gonna lift up and behind, tap the floor, and then back and front. Up and behind, tap the floor, back and front. Now this looks easy, but this is gonna kill your back. Just wait, you guys ready? Take it nice and slow. We're starting in three, two, one, and go. Reach up, all the way. Tap the ground, back and front. Yes, I told you. I told you. Good. Back and front. Nice and slow. Good game. <laughs> All right. Make sure when you're lifting up, rotate as far back as you can. Fill through those rhomboids, through those lats as you go through this. You guys feel that burn? Yeah, you got to take it slow. If you go fast, you're going to waste what you're going to get from this. All right, guys, we've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep at it. You got it. 4, 3, 2, and rest. Nice work. Take a little breather. All right, our third exercise, right where you are, we're going to go into a little up-down action, working those shoulders, okay? So I'm going to come right here into plank position on my elbows. We're going to take this up, up, down, down. So imagine that you have paint on the palms of your hand. So when I put my hands here, that's exactly where I'm gonna put my elbow. Straight down, straight up, keep your core tight. Here we go, in three, two, one, and go. Down, down, up, up. Put that on repeat, we got 45 seconds. All right, let's take a look. Ooh, Miss Leslie, with my favorite pants in the room, I love that. All right, keeping that core tight and stable. She is, wear she is wearing pants today. That is good. All right. We're watching. <laughs> We're watching that hip, making sure the hips are not rotating side to side, keeping it nice and tight. All right. We got 10 seconds to go. You guys feeling that in the shoulders? Woo! Yep. Find that point right there from your hands down to your elbows. All right. We're taking it in three, two, one, and rest. All right. Take a little breather. We're almost halfway there. Okay, guys. So now what we're going to do, grab anything that you found. That is weight, so if it's basketball, uh, it does not matter. Anything that is eight to 10 pounds, I want you to grab that now. We're gonna take this into wood chops, okay? And don't worry, if you haven't collected all things from your house, you still got two more rounds to go through, okay? So guys, we're gonna grab that weight. Some of you, if you don't have weight, grab your water bottles. I know you have something around you, okay? We're gonna take this into a wood shop. So I'm gonna come down to the knee right here, and I'm gonna rotate and power through, okay? Down and power through. We're gonna stay on each side for about 25 seconds, and then we're gonna switch to the other side. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. Left, right up. Oh, you got my trash can? That's an expensive trash can, Chad. Do not drop that, Lord. I told you, you guys are in for a show. I can't help it. I cannot control these folks. <laughs> All right, let's so keep going. You got five seconds. We're gonna switch to the other side in four, three, two, and switch to the other side and go. 
All right, gang. <laughs> oh, no, you're on the wrong side. That's okay. All right, so guys, as you're going through this form, because I can't see at home, I want you to imagine like a corkscrew. You go straight down, but we rotate. You're not going to deviate side to side, okay? So you're going to reach down, touch them close to that knee. There you go, Greg. Good. And straight up, power through. Feel this through your core, through those shoulders, drive it up. There you go. Nice. We got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, take a little breather. Now, we're going to bring it down to our dragon push-ups, okay? So what is the, what is the saying? Is it uh, hidden tiger? Wait, what is it? Crouching, crouching tiger, hidden dragon. Okay, that's what we got, the crouching dragon. All right. So we're, we're going to take it here, and we're going to do the, we're going to do the crouching tiger. And then the hidden dragon, right there, okay? Back and forth. All right. Back and forth. All right, we're going to take this to 45 seconds in three, two, one, go. We're going to bring it all the way back to our booty, all the way forward into that plank, and then down into that push-up. All right, gang, so we go butt to heel, and then heel over the hands. Butt to heel, body over the hands, back to that push-up. There we go. Let's stay with this. You got it. All right, guys at home, if you need to change this out in any way, bring it to those knees right here. I can come up, back to the heels, drop to the knees for the push-up. Just make sure those hands stand nice and tight. All right, we're going to take this for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, stay with me, 2, and rest. All right, nice work. You guys liking all these combos so far? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm starting to sweat crazy. Yeah. All right, we got three drills left to go. So our next one, this is going to be nice and slow. Now, this is a little bit more of a technical drill. It's called the Turkish get up. Um, so what I want you to do is either you can grab grab something small. You can even just use your fist, okay? We'll take this nice and light. If you have never done these before, don't worry about anything, okay? So what we're going to start off with, I'm going to put my left foot out, right knee up, right hand up. No trash can set. No trash cans. Okay. So, again, starting right here, I want you to lock out that arm. Imagine that you have a cast and your arm cannot move. Okay. I'm going to put my hands down to the side. I'm going to use my core to drive up. And we're going to break this down. All right, Drew, we're going to break this down into a few different spots. So, our first part, we're going to lift up using our core right here. All right. We got that up. I'm looking up straight up at something shiny in my hand. Now, using my hand, I'm going to take my left foot. I'm going to rotate it underneath. Good. And I call this uh, Little League Baseball Picture Pose. Right? Okay. Still looking up at that hand? I'm going to drive up. <laughs> Straight up to the top. Now, we're going to take it right back down. Right here, I'm going to plant my hand down, and I'm going to unfold my feet. Straight out the front. Use that core to come down gently to the ground. Okay? So, let's put that on repeat. Here we go. Two. One, and go, nice and slow. Keep that arm straight. Now, when I come down here, I still have that arm straight up. Good, and stand, carry on, continue on. Now, guys, what I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna use this as a nice example, right up here with Danny. I want you to imagine you have a string that has come down from your ceiling. It's attached to your wrist, okay? It's pulling you straight up, so that way there is no deviation down See that arm seems nice and straight? There you go. Good. Perfect. So imagine, again, you got that string attached to the ceiling. It pulls you up so that arm stays nice and straight. Good, Dan. Nice work. All right, gang, we're going to take this for about another 10 seconds. Do what you can, using that core, keeping that shoulder stability. Super important. Excellent, Leslie. I know you're an expert in these. You do these all the time. So you correct me if there's anything that you want to add to this, okay? We got five, four, three. Two, and rest. Now we're gonna go right into the other side, okay? We'll give you a little reset. To the other side we go. In three, two, one, and begin. All right. So you may feel like, oh shit, why is one side harder than the other? And I gotta move out of your way, girl. I don't know what's, that's your side that's harder, right? <laughs> uh-huh. So it's okay if you feel some imbalances. This is probably gonna be a new movement for a lot of you. So just really focus. I'm gonna come to Jenny as she comes back through this to help her modify this a little bit. So Jenny, I'm actually gonna take this from you 
and I'm going to have you just use, imagine you got a handful of glitter. Yeah, I know. No, don't let it go, though. You got shiny things, shiny things. We're going to lift up. Now, right here, keep that arm. So look up right at that hand. Look up at your shiny things. There you go. And up to the sky. Keep looking at your shiny things. Don't let go. Don't let go. All the way up. Never lose focus of what you got in your hand. There you go. All right, we got three. Come on, guys. Two. And rest. Nice job. All right, drop that down. We have two more to go. We're going to pick up our speed again. Woo! So we're going to take this to a renegade fly. So this, again, use any small piece of equipment that you have at your house. You don't need a lot of weight for this. Trust me. Okay? So we're going to take this down to our plank position right here. Okay? For your renegade. I'm going to go to plank position. Keep your feet nice and wide. I'm going to grab whatever I have. I'm going to bring it back to the hips, back down, and then I'm going to fly right out to the side, okay? So we're going to stay on one side, nice and slow. You're going to feel this through your core, through your laps, through your rear delts. Here we go. We're going to start. You guys ready? All right, let's do it. Three, two, one, and go. Right to the side. Good. Now we're going to stay on one side for 20 seconds before we alternate to the other. Good, I want to get in here and get some little demonstrations so I can show you. So what you're seeing right here, again, using Coach Greg, is that nice straight out lateral movement, okay? He's engaging that rear delt in those lats. Lat work, rear delts. I will not back up on you, don't worry. Actually, if you could just go into plane, I'll sit on top of you while he does this. Good, make sure you're bringing that all the way to the side of your hip at home, okay? All right, we got two, one. Don't drop down, switch to the other side. Don't drop out of that plank. Here we go. Continue on. Jason, how are you feeling back here, buddy? Woo. What are these striations? Man, Lord, boy. Killing it. All right. Keeping that core down. I want you to imagine your belly button has a rail light coming through it, and you want to point it straight at, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm just thinking of things off the top of my head. The belly button has a light. It's shining straight down to the ground. Okay, keep those hips down. <laughs> I'm using the belly button as an example, nothing else. Three, two, and rest. Nice job. All right, last one. Jump up on your feet. We're going to take this for a little burnout in fast feet. Here we go in three, two, one, and go. Dina, if you want to turn around, you can. I know you want to. I know you want to. <laughs> right here, guys. We're going to take this 45 seconds. I like Jason's doing a little bit. Weird dancing circles. I don't care how you dance it. I don't care what you do with your feet as long as you're moving. As long as you're moving. As long as you're moving. We got 15 seconds to go. Come on. Push. 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 And 10. Nine. Eight. Stay low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Five. Four. Three. Two. And rest. All right, Dick. Good job at home, Joey. Do we still have people following us or have they quit? They're still in? Okay, good. So, now... We cannot see you at home, obviously, but we can see you if you're logged in. Now, I think we're taking live comments, uh, so if you guys have anything that you want to throw out to us as the coaches, let us know. We'll get relayed on uh, what you're thinking, okay? All right, guys, so we're going to take 30 seconds to break. This is your time to go grab any of those small pieces of equipment if you haven't already. All right, coaches, so grab some water. Rest is super important. Now, because this is a live video, we don't get to press pause. You know, sanitize, sanitize your hands, whatever you feel like you need to do. We are all using our own equipment today, just so you guys, if you're curious, we're not sharing equipment. It's all on our own. Um, so we're not actually wiping things down until we are done with our stuff. All right, I'm going to give you about 10 seconds of home to get ready, and we're going to start over. No offering water. No offering water. Oh. Well, in that case, it's another clear. That works, right? Does that work? Does, does anybody at home know is uh, is is vodka bacteria like the preventative that help us disinfect it? Eighty-six. So we need to all switch to like moonshine and uh, what's the what was my ever Everclear? Everclear. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Do not drink Everclear while you're working out. Don't do that. All right, guys, you ready? Now, we're going to bring it up a notch. We got no breaks in this. We're going to go right into each one, all eight drills. We're going to start in five seconds. We're going to bring it down. Do those double push-ups and a reach. Here we go. And three, two, one, and go. Down, 
up, down, up, reach, down, up, down, up, reach. Make sure that as you're reaching, keep that arm nice and straight. I want you guys to feel this through the lat as you extend it out. Don't just do a little baby reach out in front. I want you to go all the way, all the way. All right, we got 15 seconds left to go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. All right, we're going to bring it down to our swimmer. So straight down to your mat, straight down to your mat. Move your stuff out of your way. All right, we're going to begin in front right here. Hands are out. Here we go in two, one, and go. Up nice and slow. Now, this is going to be one of those drills again. Remember, we're taking it nice and slow. As we go through this, keeping that back engaged the entire time. So when you come up, lift, lift, lift. Feel that in your lower back. The slower you go, the more back you're going to get. All right, gang, keep going. Keep going. Looking at our clock. We got 10 seconds left to go. Push it through. In nine, eight. Good deep breaths for me. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, you can very easily come up out of that mat position. Wipe it off. Make sure that your surface is not slippery. Grab those towels if you need it. We're gonna take this to that up down, going into those shoulders and that core, okay? Up down, here we go. 45 seconds in three, two, one, go. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. You got it, keep going. Keep going with us, come on. Keeping that butt low, I'm gonna watch. Okay, good. I love what Jenny's doing here. She's staying on her knees. If the toes have gotten too difficult, take it down to the knees, it's okay. You're still getting the same work anyways, okay? You're not missing out on that. Just make sure you can do what's gonna keep you in good form. All right, we got five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, gang. So we're going to go back to those wood chops. Up on your feet fast. We're starting in 10 seconds. Grab your weight. Grab your can of beans. Grab your trash can set. Get your trash can. All right, here we go. To those rotators. You are the corkscrew for one. Here we go. And three, two, one. Down, up, down, up. Rotate it through right to that knee. Drive through using that core. Yeah, right. <laughs> Watch your eyes. <laughs> Here we go. Keep pushing through. We're going to five, four, three, two, and switch right into it and go. 25 seconds on this side. I'm going to add just five more seconds so that you can get the most benefit on both sides. Now, notice also my feet. There's a small pivot. Left side, I pivot in. I turn that knee in. That's gonna protect my knees. Drive it through. Imagine that you're gonna take your sand belt and throw it behind you. But I like Leslie, so I will not demonstrate that. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down. We're coming back down to those mats. Do our dragon push up. I'm not even gonna to try to say the phrase again because I cannot do it. All right. Here we go. We're gonna cross it back in three, two, one. Let's go. Butt to heels, all the way down, and then into that push-up. Butt to heel, forward to the push-up. Butt to heel, good. I want you guys to, at home, go as low as you can. Take it slow here. Notice when I come back, I have my shins are right at parallel to the ground as you're going through this, okay? So it's almost like you're about to sit down into child's pose, all right? Let's continue on. We got 15 seconds. All right, guys, feeling okay back there? You're getting quiet. Yeah. All right. I was worried. I haven't heard any four-letter words or weird jokes lately. <laughs> All right, we got three, two, one, and rest. All right, so we're going to take this right into that slower movement of our turkey skid-ups, okay? So remember, this is a technical drill. Take it nice and slow. All right, I'm going to jump back here, actually, so I can use Greg as my technical fitness model, okay? So you got the same knee up 
as the hand that is up. Very important, okay? Looking right up here at the shiny thing. Here we go. Nice and slow. We're going to lift using the core and the obliques. Straight up. Good. Okay, lazies, come on. We're starting. Yes, at home, we're starting. Let's go. Uh, there we go. I'm, don't worry, I didn't start the clock yet. So we got plenty of time. You still got 40 seconds to go. All right. Yes, I changed this from 25 to 25. So now I'm going to give you the full 40 seconds because I have some good news after this set. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know what my good news is. You know what it's going to be. Good use that oblique down. All right. We got five, four, three, two, and rest. Back down. Let's go to the restart position, okay? Now we're going to do the other side. Here we go. I'm going to stop picking on you, Leslie. I'm going to come back here. All right. Floor, how you doing, lady? How you doing? You making it? All right, guys. Here we go. In two, one, and go. Driving it up. Using your core. Good. I love it. Floor, what are you imagining? What, what is in your hand? You're super focused. Laura is so focused back here on what is in her hand. I want to know. What is it? That's a little, she said, can I say that out loud? Oh, okay. Okay, different. Okay, got it. Got it. <laughs> Don't spill the wine. All right. We've got 10 seconds left to go. Good game. Keep it going. And five. Four, nice and slow. Three, two, and rest. Good job. All right, put that equipment down. Get up into your plank position. We're going into our second to last drill. This is going to be our renegade and fly. We're starting in five seconds. Here we go. In three, two, one, feet wide. Pull it to the hip, back down in front, wide to the side. Now, again, you can also change this up if you want a little bit more. Uh, shoulder work today, you can just take this right out to the side, back and forth. Or you can just take it right into the renegade. You choose. Do both. Do one. It does not matter. Do what is your challenge level, okay? Right here, just most important, keeping that core tight, keeping those feet wide, all right? We're going to take this for five, four, three, two, switch to the other side. Here we go. And row down right to the side. Good. Notice my hips when I come up. To the side. I don't rotate. Prevent that. Keep your core tight as you go through this. Okay? Nice. Neutral spine. Good. Driving it in. Driving it in. All right. We are at home stretch. Final 10 seconds. In nine, eight, seven, six, five. Put that butt down. Three, two, and rest. All right. On your feet. Last one. High knees. Here we go. Up, up, up. High knees. Fast feet. Fast feet. Not high knees. My mistake. And go. We're going to take this for 45 seconds. 45 seconds. Now we're doing this. I was, I was not. I never played football. I tried tennis. Actually, no. I did play football when I was in eighth grade. Guess what? What are you doing here, bro? Now, I was the center. So I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. We got 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo. Nice job. All right. Here's the good news, okay? So as this is our first time to do a live uh, boot camp, the formatting and the timing of it may be a little bit off as we go to practice. So good news for you. We are only doing those two rounds. We got to move on. I want to make sure you guys are getting plenty of variation at home. And we got a lot left to do, so let's use the last 15 minutes of our time. I'm going to go right into kind of a two-time deal. We're going to do some isometric holds, okay? So isometric holds, basically, we're still going to engage our muscles, but a little bit differently. We're not going to have the regular eccentric contraction movements. Basically, we're just going to hold them and freeze. Trust me, it's going to be a lot of work. So we got three drills that we're going to take you through. We're going to start off with what I call a tricep plank. So I'm going to come down to the ground. If you guys want to join me down here. You can do this on your knees, on your toes. Start on your toes and end on your knees. That's it. <laughs> okay, here we go, right here. I'm gonna take this down right to my elbows are locked into the side. And I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna bring those shoulder blades back. Here we go, 
clock has begun. Put those knees down if you need to. I want you to feel this through your core. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift your core. Keep it up. Come on. Hold it. Hold it, guys. You got it. Come on. Don't let your butt fall. Don't let your butt fall. Keep it up. Tuck it under. Tuck it under. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Good. All right. Quickly up. On your go. That's a good question. So, guys at home, we want to know, are you guys just sitting at home laughing at us, or are you actually working out with us? Joe's going to have an answer for us pretty soon. All right, guys. Grab your broomsticks. Grab whatever you have. Your vehicle. Grab your vehicle here. We're going to take this nice wide. So, what we're going to do here is going to be, it's going to look like an overhead squat, but we're actually going to activate our back. So, I'm going to turn a kind of a few rotations for you. So, we're going to take this wide. Most important, lock out the arms. There's no bent elbows. Pull those shoulder blades together. I'm going to turn around. You guys keep facing forward. But if you can see me at home, I'm going to pull those elbows. I mean, not my elbows. Those are my arms. Wrong muscle. I'm going to pull my shoulder blades in and together. Right? And I'm going to take this right here. So you had to kind of pull back right overhead. And I'm going to come down right here into a squat. Notice my bar stays right above my traps. It does not go in front. It does not go to my booty. It's going to stay right here, right over that neckline. We're just going to hold. Time has begun. Bring it down. Now I want you to pull on that band. I want you to pull on that broomstick, whatever it may be. Pull it apart. You're going to feel that back activate. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Come on. Get low. If you're bored, you can put a little booty balance. That's fine. Come on. Push. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Nice job. Okay. All right, next one, we're going to take this down to the ground. Kind of like the little warm-up we did with the, the dog, with the doggy butt grub. But we're going to go a little bit more formal up into our crab holds. So I'm going to raise right here, okay? If you have any wrist or shoulder problems at home, you can use your fists, okay? Put your fists down. There's got a few ways that we can do this, all right? We're going to start off right here. I'm going to pull my shoulder blades back. I'm going to hold this. If I want to add to this, I can include my glutes by raising my pelvic higher. If I want to do more arm work, I slightly bend my elbows just a little bit. But when I bend those elbows, I also need to drop my butt, okay? All right, so we're gonna hold this starting now. We got 45 seconds. Now we have a few variations that are happening on the floor. So check it out. So Danny's getting her triceps in there. Good, Danny's choosing to do a little bit more of a full motion, a little bit of everything. So it's not quite a full isometric, but that's fine, okay? What we wanna accomplish right now is to really burn out the rest of that body, okay? I love Greg's over here. He's doing a little one-legged. Perfect. So what is this doing for you, Greg? It's stretching that the outside of the hip. Yep. Stretch while I do it. Perfect. So getting a little stretch at the same time. Uh-huh. What is that? You do look like, look at that shiny bald head. You got five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, guys, we're going to take that one more time with those three drills. And then we're going to move into core. We're going to wrap it up today with some core work, okay? All right, guys, so we're going to come back down. I'm going to give you a little rest break after this. Hang in there. Okay, we're going to come down right here, okay? Hands to the side of the mat or on the mat, depending on how wide your shoulders are. We're going to take this into our hold. Ready? And bring it down. Time starts now, right here. Now, most important, you're going to be tempted to drop your hips down. I want you to take your pelvic and rotate it under, okay? So you're gonna kind of squeeze those butt cheeks just a little bit to keep those triceps. If it gets too tough, come down to those knees. All right, Jason's got one leg in the air. All right, lift that upper body just a little bit for me for right there, there you go. Good, loving it, loving it. We got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh, stretch it out right here. A little child's pose action. Just 10 seconds stretch. You're going to love it. Now, let's grab 
Our boom's fixed. Up on your feet. We got two more to go through, and then we're going to move into core. Okay, gang? So remember, we're coming overhead. We're going wide. Arms stay locked. Do not let your elbows bend. Okay? Get those feet wide. You guys can see my feet at home. I'm going to keep those feet wide in good squat position as I come down. Chest out. Pull those shoulders in together. Here we go. In two, one, and down, and hold. Right here. Pull it. Do you guys feel your back engage? You guys feel that? Yeah. Good. Keep those arms nice and straight. Keep them nice and straight. Good. I'm going to come through and look good. Now, Jenny, looking straight up for me. I'm going to adjust just a smidge right there. Good. Keeping those arms straight. Nice. Leslie, I love it. Oh, you got the band. That makes it even a little bit harder. Good. Keep it that nice little tight wide. Ooh, yeah. Right here on the back of those lats. Come on. Good floor. Seth's looking good. Oh, Seth's like, I got this. I can do anything in the squat. All right. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. All right, guys, done with those. Drop them down. We're going back to those crab holes. We're going to go back to those crab holes. Okay? So we're going to come up. Now you're going to see there's a lot of different uh, variations happening on the floor. Pick and see which one fits you best. Here we go for 45 seconds. Ready? And begin. I'm just going to stay right here because I am tired. I'm not going to lie. I haven't worked out at this speed nonstop in a few weeks. So this is good for me. Hope you guys are uh, staying mobile, getting your sweat on. We would love to see your after workout sweaty pics. Make sure you hashtag us, tag us at Heat Boot Camp so we can see what you guys went through today with us. All right, we got 20 more seconds to go. I'm gonna add a little triceps. I need to do a little bit more arm work right there. Ooh, damn. Hold it, hold it, guys. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. All right, okay. Let's take a little break. I'm gonna give you guys at home one minute. Grab some water, wipe your stuff down. We're gonna take it now into core. Now, for our core drills, you don't need any equipment at all. If you have a mat that you're using, awesome. Um, if you are on carpet at home, uh, some of these might give you a little monkey butt. So maybe a towel uh, or move to the hardwood floors in your house, all right? So we're gonna take a quick little 45 second break. We're gonna come right back to core. All right, guys, how you feeling? Great. Good. All right, is your, is your upper body working a little bit? It is really hot, but we had to turn off our AC so you guys could uh, hear us. So I should, I'm not going to tell him that Danny actually came early, so he could just pump on before we did this thing. It's a free pump. We wanted to make sure he looked good for you guys. All right, we got 10 seconds. We're going to bring it down to our mat. Guys, we're going to start off with some bicycle work, okay? So I'm going to turn facing our feet to the wall. We're going to begin just down on the mat right here into some bicycle action. So I'm going to take my elbow up to my knee, drive up, back and forth, nice and slow. Okay, so we're gonna put the clock on in three, two, one, and go. All right, so when we're doing the bicycle, a lot of people hear bicycle and they think of this, which makes sense. But I want you guys to think of like pistons. You're gonna flex that quad when you go out. Do not do circular rotation and take it slow. The faster that you go, does not mean you're working harder, okay? It's not like actually being on a bicycle. You wanna take it nice and slow and control, okay? Nice and slow and control. All right, looking at our clock, we got about 15 seconds left to go, and then we're gonna take it into some toe touches. Good, getting that rotation happening in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, reaching that forearm up to those knees in three, two, and one. Drop it down. If you need a little stretch for your back, lift that butt up real quick because now we're going to take it right here into an alternating toe touch back and forth. All right. So we're making big L's with our legs. Here we go. And three, two, one. Let's go. Straight up, straight over. There we go. And I'm going to kind of do a little walk around because you're going to see some people doing different exercises. All right. So right here, we've got Danny is adding a little. I don't know what I would call this, a little upside down sprawl effect where he, neither one of his heels are touching the ground. His feet stay wide as he reaches up and touching the toes. Good. 
Leslie, what are you, you're doing something different. Oh, I like it. You got a little additional, oh, I'm sorry. A little Pilates extra work in there, reaching up, grabbing the, the cap, a nice little hold there. Gives you a little pause at the top when you're, oh, you can go. And now, now you can show off. Now show off. She's like, oh, shit, I better do it. Yeah. All right, we got three, two, one, and rest. Oh, okay, guys. Now we're going to take this to a little side oblique. And let's be honest, if we're going to be at home for a while, these guys are probably going to grow. <laughs> So we're going to work on them today. I'm going to begin right here, plank position on the side. I can use my hand as a nice little support. I'm going to reach my hip up to the sky as much as I can go, and then I'm going to tap that hip down. So we're just going to take this nice and slow, straight up, straight down for 30 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. So straight up, keeping that spine nice and neutral. And what does that mean? So I know some of you guys are, what does that mean? You know, I hear people saying it's neutral spine. So basically from your neck down, your shoulders to your hips, stay straight, pretty plain and simple. Good. So you guys should feel this right here in that oblique, okay? We got five, four, three, two. Hold it, hold it, hold it at the top. Now we're going to barrel roll in to the other side. Good. Straight here. All right, here we go. And down and up. Ooh, Danny, what you doing over there, buddy? What is that? Modified tree pose. Modified tree plank pose. Love it. Good. I'm not even going to attempt, so hopefully you guys at home can see Danny doing that in front of me. All right. Oh, thank you, Danny. He's like, I will happily get out of the shop and take a little break. All right, we got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and rest. Good job. Okay, we are almost there. One of my favorite core exercises we're going to do today. It is called the dead bug. <laughs> yes. So I want you to imagine, huh? I want you to, you, lo you love this one? You, I know anyone hates this. It's fun though. That's why I love it because we all look completely insane doing it. You're going to visualize that moment <laughs> where you have seen that little cockroach in your floor on your house, and it's just on its back trying to stay alive. That's going to be us right now. So here's what we're going to do. Make sure you got plenty of room. We're going to take this actually using the hips. I'm going to hip around, hip around. You guys ready? Right here in three, two, one, and go. I'm using my hips. You're going to circle around that mat, okay? I'm circling around. When you get to the top of the mat, reverse it and go the other direction. So you'll notice I'm using my shoulders and my obliques to rotate around. Keep going. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. All right. So last one right here again, and then we're going to take it into a cool down. So we're going to finish off with a spread plank. So here's the rules of this game. We're going to start off in regular plank position. We're going to start in regular plank position, and then every 10 seconds, we're going to go a little wider and a little wider until we get into full-fledged Spider-Man plank, okay? So make sure you got all your equipment out of your way, your water bottles, your facial awareness. Your bags of beans, everything out. Okay, we're gonna start. Plank position, here we go. And three, come on Danny, let's go. Two, one, and hold. We're gonna hold right here, right here, for 10 seconds. And on my command, we're gonna move out slightly. In three, two, one, everything moves. Just about six to eight inches. Holding it, hold it, feel that core. Now make sure your hips don't drop down. Keep that core tight, here we go, ready. <laughs> oh, sorry that I put your mat there. And out we go. That's number three. We're going to go through five of these. So we have two more to go. All right, two more to go. Here we go. And out. Okay, so this is our fourth to last. Or second, our first to last. Because you have five total. Five total. And three. Two, last one, get down low for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, and done. Oh, okay. All right, guys. You are already in the right position for where we're going next. So, guys, stay where you are. We're going to now take you into a little cool down. Thank you for coming and sweating it out with us. But I'm going to take you through a little warm down that everybody can for sure use. So, right here, guys, we're going to take our knees wide, knees wide, back into a child pose position right here. And then once you get as low as you can go, I want you to walk your fingertips far in front. Good. And we're just going to hold this. You can drop your head down to the mat. Take a little breather. Uh, we play a little game sometimes from one of my favorite TV shows called uh, uh, Thorns and Roses from Schitt's Creek. So, yeah, Thorns and Roses. You think about what is... What is the thorn of your day? What's the one shitty thing that happened? And then what's your rose? What's one of the, the great things that happened in your day? <laughs> Can it be the same thing? Sure. Yes. Good question. All right. We're going to come forward. All right. So while we're stretching, let's play that game. A little thorn and rose. All right. Who goes first? Can bring it up to a cobra pose. So who wants to share their thorns and rose? Anybody? Yeah, what you got? <laughs> Love it. I like, don't let Jenny got to make a breakfast sandwich. That's a it's the little things. And what is your thorn, Jenny? Um, my cat walking. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about cats. All right, back to that child's pose. All right, guys, here in this position, what I want to do is I want to take our left arm. I'm going to bring it through right here underneath and stretch. Stretch out those delts. Leslie, do you have any thorns or roses for us? I don't have any thorns. Good. I'll take what you got. I'm very grateful to be able to get together with you guys and sweat a little bit. Oh, well. I love that. Virtual That's hugs. Virtual hugs. All right. Switching to the other side. I feel the same way. Yeah. I feel like we need to start... Um, uh, Joey, we're going to have to talk about this for all of our online folks. I would love to see everyone's most creative non-handshake. Yeah. All right, guys, let's bring it back up. We're going to take it right here to the front. Last little stretch out. We're going to let you guys go in one minute. So let's bring those heels together right here. Heels together. Just kind of stretch out. I know we didn't do a whole lot of lower body, but you can feel this in your back. Pulling it in. So again, we are incredibly grateful to have you guys tuning in with us at home. Just a few things uh, that I wanted to let you know regarding our gratitude. Um, this has been a huge pivot for our business as many businesses uh, across the nation. So for us to be able to do this for you um, has been a tremendous blessing because just as Leslie said, we all need a place to go. Um, and we still need that camaraderie. So even though we're doing it from afar and in your living rooms, we still have a sense that we're still there with you. So thank you for joining us. Um, and then one other small bit, or not big small bit, but I should say pretty large uh, piece of information that a lot of people have asked us about um, regarding um, our live camps. They are open to everybody, okay? Free! So free for everybody. Uh, we have obviously as a company, I've chosen to uh, voluntarily suspend all of our uh, members' uh, auto drafts, um, but we're still providing this as a free service to them um, and to anyone else that needs a little movement in their life right now. So keep that in mind. Spread those links around. We'll make sure that as we get more viewers, we'll up our bandwidth. Uh, and again, if you guys have feedback for us, please let us know. What do you want to see? What do you want to do? We're here for you. Uh, my crew in the back, any other questions or anything that we want to say? We're about to sign off in about 20 seconds. <laughs> Seth, you can take off your shirt next time. Yes. Not the pants. Appreciate your support. Love you. Love you so much. You guys have a great rest of your day. We'll see you again tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Good work. All right. All right.